You know today's video is going to be amazing when you've got this kind of epic view. We are by the Yokohama Bay heading into Nissan Global Headquarters to look at Fair Ladies. And we've got one right here. Hey. Right there. Oh, she's really excited about Attack on Titan. They announce the dates when the next season comes out. But no, in all seriousness, we are literally going here um, because every car well, they have all the Z's on display, all the models of them, apparently. So we're going there to check it out. If you've seen any of the previous videos where we've been to the Nissan Global Headquarters, uh, we always come here when they have something special on display. They're normally open till about 8 p.m. And because it's the bay here in Yokohama, it's a really good place to kind of tag team, do a double date at the same, well, not a double date, do a date at the same time, kill Don't two birds, one date. stone. That's what I'm saying, right? Don't say a date. Don't say a date. The moment you try to plan something, Oh, true. Okay, this is not a date. Yeah. We are just uh, going to look at cars and get a nice Mexican dinner, right? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe. yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Every time we try to plan something, it goes south real quick. So, oh, I can already see the Z's down there. Whew. So, yeah, we're going to go check out all the fair ladies there. Um, I know this is uh, actually kind of relevant to yesterday's video as well, checking out the uh, 400Z that was on display at the Nissan Pavilion. Oh boy, I am so excited. I don't think I've ever seen every Model Z lined up before. And you know what's amazing? What? It's free. It's free, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I love Nissan Global Headquarters. Oh, this is sick. Look at them all. That Z32 is amazing. 300. Ooh, the 280. Is that a 280? I can't tell. Oh, I know that's a 240 there at the end. This is gonna be sick. I'm pumped. Oh. So I guess welcome to today's video where we have the full lineup of every Z that Nissan has ever made, except the 400Z, believe it or not, because I guess the pavilion gets uh, bragging rights on that one. But babe, please tell us, which one is your favorite one out of this lineup? I haven't smelt it yet. You haven't smelt it yet. I don't think anyone's ever said that. Oh, look, they put the 400Z there digitally. <laughs> oh man, this thing's clean. This one's in way better condition than the one that they had on display at the pavilion. Beautiful. This one doesn't have any damage in the dash too. Like the color. Yeah. All like the old school kind of car colors were really cool. Like those old musky retro. colors, retro colors. Yeah. Like yeah, like your jacket. You would actually match that right now. I was right, it is a 280. <laughs> a little bit longer, aren't they? I can't remember. I remember someone telling me that these were longer than the 240s, but... Why is the bottom like looking like a... Oh, the bottom section's got, uh, what's that, that material called? It's like underbody paint, so it's super like bumpy and rough. That's because that's where all the rocks flick up when you're driving. And you can right. see it all along there on the side. Uh, oh, it's tripping. Tripping. Yeah. It's it's not chipped. It's um, it's actually like the the texture of the paint. Oh, look at the bottom. Hmm? Very oh yeah, there's a little bit missing off it from bad hoist placements and jack up points. But like that paint itself looks like it's got like rubber in it, so that it's like super durable and resistant. Mm -hmm. hmm. The wheels look cool too. The old school Z wheels. Ah, <sighs> got our Z31 here. 1983, man. This was made before I was born. Turbo. Oh, so cool. This is the 50th anniversary edition, too. So hard to find one of these in this condition. Hmm? VG30. Oh, the twin. Oh, the single turbo one. It should be the single turbo. Yes, with turbo. Yeah. Mm. Very interesting how they did that, actually. Very cool. And we got the Targa top as well, so it's not actually convertible. It's pieces that come out that then go in like a case in the boot. Shame that this one's automatic, though. Would have been nicer to have seen a manual one here. So, still very cool. 
find a different way to say cool. I know, I say cool a lot about cars, but that's like, what else do I say? Sick, very spicy, cool. very cool, cool, <laughs> mama cool. <laughs> I see. This is the cleanest Z32 I think I've ever seen. Definitely. The pearl white on this is amazing. I've never seen OEM paint in this good condition on a Z. This is crazy. Wait, hang on. I just realized that was left-hand drive. Huh, <laughs> trippy. The interior in this is brand new too. I don't think I've, like, this is, this car practically might as well be brand new. Other than a little bit of surface rust here and there, this thing looks like it's brand new off the factory floor. It's crazy. Wow. Such a perfect example of a Z32. Or Z32, sorry my uh, Australian br brethren. Yeah, that is beautiful. I'm trying to get a squeeze at the odometer in there to see if, well, how many Ks it's done, but I can't. Very cool. And then things kind of changed very drastically from these to this, the 350Z, otherwise known as the new S chassis for drifting. <laughs> Honestly, these, these, they were overlooked for so long and then all of a sudden someone decided to start drifting them because they were super cheap. Convertible ones suck. I wouldn't touch the convertible ones for drifting or motorsport. I would stick to solely, you know, the full uh, hard top ones. I know you wouldn't call it hard top, you know, just an actual non-convertible one. That, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. Yeah, 353, these are kind of pretty light because they're a coupe and a hatchback. Um, they're not very long too, kind of a short wheelbase. I think the heaviest point will probably be at the front of the car where the engine is, uh, but it's hard to know. I'm not sure. But like, uh, for instance, I think the R32 Skyline was around the 1.5 ton mark as well. So that is kind of like normal for a sports car. And then we got the 370Z, which got a pretty modest upgrade engine wise. And the 350Z went through three variations, the DE, the rev up, and the uh, HR. HR being the best motor, most reliable, most power, most torque and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then obviously uh, this one got the VH34, I can't remember. I think that's what it was. But, man, I love this place. They give you like these custom iPads here so you can look at all the features. Look, engines, engine specifications. Oh, we, we can see it all here. That's actually not too bad. They're still pretty cheap. It's like 50 grand. Max power, 336 PS, 250 kilowatt roughly at 7,000 RPM. That's more than enough to go drifting on. Yeah, oh, it was a VQ. I said VH, VQ37, VHR. I kind of is a HR37. Uh, uh, well, I, I was kind of right. I had the right letters. Yeah, option parts. I jumped off. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna go for a walk up there in the performance section. They've got some cool GTRs up there in a bit. What color would you pick? Probably the blue. Yes. Yeah, you're a blue girl. Like an avatar? No. I just know you like blue because you said you wanted the blue GTR. Yeah, the other day was really cool. Did you see the one at the um, in the video, the pavilion, the blue one? Yes. See, what would be really cool is if you could get a Nismo edition in that blue. That would look fire with the carbon fiber. By the way, uh, for any of you guys wondering, if you come here, there is a Starbucks. So you can kind of make this a date location for sure. Get a coffee with the girl, show her some cars, figure out if she's actually into cars and whether or not you want to continue dating her and then go into a nice restaurant up there. But anyways, they've got a whole bunch of like really cool little toy scale cars. Not too bad. That Z's pretty cool. Very in detail. I like that. Mm. Hey May, do you like my kicks? My kicks are pretty cool, right? You like them? <laughs> my kicks are cooler. 
Why, why do they call those cart kicks? <laughs> I'm genuinely curious, and why, why is this the first time I heard about this new car called Kicks? Is that how it's meant to be pronounced? Yeah, kicks? kicks? Why is it called Kicks? It looks pretty cool though, for a hybrid, electric thing. Looks like a Prius inside, kind of. I don't like. I don't mind it. Just mom car. Yeah, definitely good mum car. So I just realised something. Um, you can pretty much get in any car here on display. Not any. Uh, jump in. Jump in. So jump in and close the door. Can you? Can you even reach the door handle? Looks like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd she go? She blended in with the interior. <laughs> You're actually like wearing the same color jacket almost. Do you like it? No, why not? It's too far away, you can't see over the hood, but you can adjust the chair. I don't like about these cars are these. Oh, all the little things that like yeah. dirt and stuff can get into. Yeah. It drives me crazy. I think every car has that now though. She's talking about the crease lines here. Yeah. Like and around. That's why I like your Sylvia because it's pretty cute. Mm. Two degrees. Yeah. Okay. I understand Two that. Don't mind me guys, I'm just enjoying my uh, caramel macchiato. This is kind of the most depressing part about today's video because this is what the skyline has become, according to Nissan. A four-door family car. I mean, it, it does go kind of fast with the, uh, the V6 twin turbo model that they're releasing, but it's still automatic. It's not like a manual six-speed transmission, not like the Z, which is why I'm so much more excited over the Z than this thing. I just... Come on, Nissan. Please go back. Please go back to what you made this skyline. Don't go to what Prince made it be. I don't know. It's just not a skyline, is it? It's a skyline. It's a skyline. No, but it's not a skyline. Sam, you gotta man up a bit. You can't. <sighs> Stop whinging. Stop whinging. Hey, this color's kind of interesting. Babe, do you know what this part is? Timing belt. I mean, it is a belt. That's not the timing belt. These have a timing chain, but this part here is the aircon compressor. That's what compresses the AC gas and sends it through the condenser and gives you cold air. What about this part? You should know what that is. That prevented us from uh, having a wedding anniversary. Date. Something died on the skyline. Alternator. Remember the alternator? The what? alternator died when? when we were trying to uh, oh. when we were stuck in Futaka Tamagawa for our wedding anniversary. Yeah, that was your fault. You didn't check how old it was. That was my fault. Okay. <laughs> this is a pretty cool model, though. I dig this a lot. All right, so this is pretty cool right now. So what we have here are concept cars, and this was a Z33 prototype. So this. It looks like an S14. Really? Yeah. It is. Yeah. This is an S14. But this was the first prototype for the Z. Oh wow, it is an S14. Why is this left-hand drive? Why are all their concept cars left-hand drive? Wow, this is very cool. Oh. The rear really looks like, like a NASCAR kind of thing going on. So this is a 240SX S14 then. And then they cut it up and changed it to do their prototype for the 350Z. And then this was the concept of the 350Z, which has changed a lot here. Like, I wish I could walk in there and show you, but check out that funky looking interior. It's pretty kind of crazy. The body line kind of changed a little bit as well. The lights did. The wheels are not 22s like this thing. You can really tell that the, uh, the interior changed a lot in the final product. Same with the back. 
Very interesting. This, yeah, so this is what I was saying guys, like even though the 400Z may look the way that it does now, it's not gonna be its final product because this was the prototype. Was this the prototype? Or the, yeah, this was the prototype. This was the concept. And then the 350Z, I mean the closest thing to a 350Z is this thing here. <laughs> but you guys know what I'm talking about. So if we're at the prototype concept phase right now of the 400Z, we're gonna probably see a lot of nice changes. Like, I mean, look at this front end. The grill is, and the bumper is just stupid, but they fixed that and touched it up on the final one. So I'm pretty excited. This thing is super cool. I can't believe that this is an S14. Very sick. It's crazy because this is so good. I'm so glad we came here after yesterday's video. Yeah, so it's literally a 240SX with a KA24. Very cool. So yeah, prototype, concept, and the final product is over there. Interesting. One of these S30s, the 240Z. Yeah, need to get you one. This one's in really good condition too. No cracks in the dash. Interior is immaculate. Wow. Very cool. Hey, there's my hometown on screen. Oh yeah, they did the, the longest um, drive or whatever it's called all the way around Australia. That's cool. How many of you guys would want this scale model of a seafoam two-tone green Q's model Sylvia in their house? I know I would. I don't know where I'd put it, but <laughs> I want it. I wonder how much that is. It's probably like a grand of plus more, probably two, three grand. Very cool. Though. Sam, I found the perfect book for our child that we need to, to train them. I'm scared. Datto-san. It's a book about Datsuns. Datsuns? We need to teach our kids about how great Datsuns were. I probably need this, honestly. Datto-san, this tunnel is a weird feeling. Can someone buy me that car? It looks so sexy. I want one. And the green, I shipped that. Green's a nice color. So we're taking a quick look at the Nismo cars now and the Nismo 370Z is pretty sick and I really hope they do do a Nismo edition of the 400Z. I think that's a, a given. But who knows how long it's gonna take before Nismo gets uh, some, uh, some of their models rolling off the factory floor, I'm not sure. Hopefully around the same time they release them, you can get the Nismo ones too, but It'll be, I'm curious to know what uh, Nismo's gonna do. You know, they're just gonna do aero parts. Uh, they've gotta do an engine tune-up of some kind kind of thing. Probably just end up with uh, Nismo turbos or like a boost-up kind of thing. Yo, these Nismo rare edition wheels. So expensive. Just the wheels themselves are like 10 grand. I think they're now like 15 grand for a set of four. Very cool. I still think I like the blue one better. This one? Nah. But I do like this silver. It looks cool with a carbon fiber wing and stuff. Yeah, this all white. The Nismo white is really good too. We got this black one here. Probably by the time I, I can afford to buy a GTR May, a 35, I'll probably want to spend that money on like a 34. <laughs> Just because they're getting so yeah. crazy expensive right now, I feel like buy a 34 because then, well, that's the thing. I want to buy a 34 to drive it. I don't want it as an investment. I can't just buy a 34 and sit it in the garage and then sell it in like 10 years time. This guy, he doesn't know what 34s are. <laughs> Worth now. I do know what they're worth now. That's the, the sucky part. Uh, we've looked at this before, but this is essentially a full 
um, like skeleton of a 35 GTR and you get to see all the moving parts. They don't have it turned on today, but normally all this stuff moves and lights up too, which is super cool. But yeah, me and May, we're just gonna take a quick look in the Nissan store here, see if there's anything we wanna grab, and then we're gonna go head to our Mexican restaurant. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Do you want that? I actually want it. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? What about Nismo slippers? You want some Nismo slippers? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yo, Nismo pluggers, mate. I bet you they don't have a pair in my size whatsoever. It's probably the biggest they sell. These gloves are pretty cool. Hey, you know how you always... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Nismo mask. They even tried to get a carbon fiber pattern on it. Yeah, that's, that's quite. That's cool. They're only like 10 bucks. That's not too bad. Might buy one for Okachan, he'll appreciate that. Yeah. Let's get another one. You can get a bunch of really cool stuff here. So if ever you make it here, after COVID of course, make sure you stop buying this store. Yeah, no, coffee mugs, flasks, everything. The merch game at Nismo is strong. Don't fly Tissue? That's a toilet paper. <laughs> oh. That's like emergency toilet paper. <laughs> oh, I love it. Nismo tie, anybody? Do they do a bow tie? Oh, chopsticks. Nissan chopsticks. That's pretty sick. So we are now leaving the Nissan Global Headquarters. And I think the best thing about the uh, Z display that was here is I get to take my own fair lady home with me. <laughs> So Is that joke getting old cringe. yet? So, <laughs> so cringe, but you know what? I think a good healthy uh, marriage or relationship involves a lot of cringe. Don't you think? Yeah. 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 And let me just say, some people think that we're, he's like arguing with me sometimes. Or being mean to being you. Being mean to you. This is our love language. This is our love language. Most of the time it's sarcasm, guys. And yeah. I guess if you're not Australian, you don't really understand that too well. Or, or I think it's mainly like people that aren't American or Australian don't understand that. I don't know. But yeah. Anyways, we're going to go get some Mexican now. Have a good night. But check out this view. Yokohama Bay really is beautiful. Even though it's super overcast today and just blah, wet and rainy and cold. So here is the view from the restaurant and I absolutely love this view because you get to see the highway and the traffic and stuff and it just looks so cool at night time with all the lights. But that aside, here is our Tex-Mex. Is this what this is? Texican Mexican food? <laughs> yes. Uh, what's this place called? El Dorito's? El Dorito. What is it? El Dorito? Dorito. El Dorito? No. El Dorado? That's, 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 the that's a Disney Dorito. film? Pixar film? That's a rotary. Dorito. Dorito, right? Paquito. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna eat, guys, and enjoy, and we'll pick it up once we get home. Just got home, guys, and I had an amazing night. Not only being able to check out some cars, being able to look at the 350Z prototype and concept cars, and take those into, like, I guess, account when I was looking at the prototype for the 400Z. Now, I do know that Nissan said that. Um, there was a few articles where Nissan said that this uh, prototype that they've released for the 400Z is actually kind of um, uh, like very highly in its completion stage, like 90% done. So that means that there's not much left for them to change is what they're insinuating. Um, but I really don't know about that. Like I think, I think Nissan has put this out. They're not dumb. They're not stupid. They want to see what people are saying for changes and stuff like that. This is by no means, I think, uh, the final product. I think we are going to see changes despite what they've said or what people are saying that they have said in articles and whatnot. Um, I think there will be changes. And it's very clear. Um, obviously, I know that um, th that times now when it comes to releasing a prototype is much different to back then in 1997 when they released that 350Z prototype on the S14 chassis and stuff. Um, but I think we can all agree that Nissan is going to be making some finer changes, probably going to change that front grill because everyone just keeps screaming about it. But in my opinion, I look at that space and I'm like, damn, I could fit a really big front mount intercooler there and that would be sick. But anyways, that aside guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this gives you a perspective on things, just being able to look at the 350Z prototypes 
and concept cars and what the final product was of those and you can take that into account when looking at the 400Z and wondering what is the final car going to look like when it is released I think in 2022 is when it's due to be released anyways um, I know what I'm doing for the next couple years waiting for it I am saving <laughs> because I think I'm gonna buy it but anyways guys hope you enjoyed smash the like button write us a comment and subscribe and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out. Jamata.